In today's adventure, we are going to break 24 skateboard laws in 24 hours. We're also trying Pamela Reef's brutal 10 minute workout, going to one of the worst skate parks I've ever been to, trying vegan fish and mm. chips, and painting four canvases. Because every day with fitness, skateboarding, art, and exploration is a perfect day. We're starting off the day trying to get a fire ass Instagram picture. These are the murals I painted the night before and the process was so fun, but I'll show that later on. After we got the pic, before skateboarding, you need to get that fire warm up stretch session. Right now I'm going through 10 viral YouTube workouts and Pamela Reef's workouts are the most viral. All right, let's go out eat. Looks like I'm trying to dance. It literally feels like I'm following like a dancing cardio. I love the dog barking ambience. It feels so nice. This one's actually pretty tough for me. Oh, that one's weird. Can you bend your knees? Barely. I'm realizing how hard it is to actually see what she's doing from my tiny screen, but I'm pretty sure I'm pulling it off perfectly. Feels like you're like really opening up your body. So the truth is, so far this feels like a good workout to do before you do the Chris Harrier workout I did the other day. Is this the opposite or is this one I did before? I get it, she tricked us. We thought it was easy, but she's adding the harder variations afterwards. Oh God. Oh God. Dude, that one sucks. All right. I've learned that my back is not flexible at all. Oh, my abs hurt. Oh, they're sore from like two days ago. Oh, I did it. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Thank you, uh, Pamela. I would say that ended up being a much better workout than I thought. Here's the sweat results. This is what dripped off my face as I was working out. This is my uh, shirt sweat results. So not bad. I don't know about the back. Back quite chill. I think when you're a beginner, and I think I am kind of new to a lot of workout routines, uh, you don't really know how hard to work. So you kind of need someone just to be like, yeah, do this. Like literally do this 10 minute workout, do this five minute workout, seven minute, whatever, and you know, try it out. So that was a good one. I would advise anyone out there. It has 14 million views, so clearly uh, people have been using it. So that was a fun one. We just got to Oakland Lake Skate Park. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this park, I was like, I refuse. I've skated two or three parks in Texas similar. There's only one obstacle that is different and seems pretty interesting, which is this weird embankment here. It's really steep, but it seems like you could try to come up with something kind of clever. All the other obstacles are things I've seen before, but the ground is actually a little bit better, which is uh, not saying much because the ground still sucks, but better than the other parks with the obstacles like this. So how long do you think it'll really take me to break all the skate park rules that I've listed, which are 24? Also, this is a list that I accumulated from the internet of rules at skate parks. Rule number one, do not wax the coping. Number two, don't vlog at the skate park. I just want people to notice me. Number three, don't listen to music with headphones while skating. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Number four, always obey the rules at your local skate park. Off-road driving is prohibited. Number five, always wear closed toed shoes. Number six, don't tighten your wheels too much. Number seven, always wear a helmet. Number eight, do not sit on the skate park obstacles. Ow. Number nine, keep yourself safe. Skateboarding is essentially dangerous by nature. Number 10, never ride in the street. <laughs> Number 11, don't take chances. Skateboarding is dangerous, I don't know what to tell you. Number 12, don't litter. Number 13, don't steal. Number 14, enjoy yourself. It's never fun trying hard flips. Number 15, skating only allowed in authorized areas. Number 16, no placing stickers. Number 17, no glass containers. It's glass and it's containing. Number 18, no outside skate park obstacles allowed in the park. Number 19, no profanity, drugs, or alcohol. <laughs> Number 20, no your abilities. 
One day I'm gonna ollie that entire fence. Just you watch. Rule number 21, do not get your skateboard wet. Take that. I think I've broken 21 rules so far, so I'll break three more of the other ones uh, as we go on in the day. There are also state specific laws, nine to be exact, but let's save those for the end of the video. Yeah, the session didn't go super well, but at least my abs were in excruciating pain from the workout earlier. That was like comically bad. The only thing decent is, uh, yeah, the square flat rail. It was okay. So there was something at the park that was five out of 10. That's it. Now, a brand new vegan spot in Fort Worth, Texas. I thought this was a chain that made it to Texas, but this is actually the first location. You might be seeing the first Zonk Burger before it blows the hell up. It was a food truck right before the pandemic, and in November 2021, they were all, let's get a proper location. I typically don't eat vegan fast food type food, or any type of fast food, obviously, but a friend of mine actually said it tastes pretty authentic. He said it's more about the aesthetics of fast food, but the actual food itself tastes pretty crispy. Speaking of which, I got fish and chips, the uh, proper UK meal, but vegan American style with french fries. Is it chips? Wait, is UK french fries? Also, I never ever drink soda, but I thought I should get something else that kind of shows what they have. So I'm going to take a sip of this and I'm nervous because it's probably going to be way too sugary. Oh my God really good but I haven't had soda in so long that that's just like a blast to my face. Obviously the tartar sauce is vegan as well but let's get right into it. It's hot. It's gonna burn my mouth. Huh. It's strange because I'm assuming this is supposed to taste like fish and it feels more like fried than fish. Mmm. That was a very fishy part. It's probably not super healthy, but it's super delicious. So I appreciate this. As for the French fries, I feel like they're gonna taste exactly like the Five Guys fries because they look like them. And I am correct. They taste exactly like the Five Guy fries. Now here are the nine state specific laws. In Auburn, Alabama, there's no skating in commercially zoned areas. In LA, there's actually no skateboarding through courthouse and the library, which I can actually think of those two spots in my head when I think of LA. In Akron, Ohio, it's illegal to skate in the dark, just period. That's like a terrible rule. I mean, how can you skate at home if you don't have like a, a what? In the dark, huh? Number four, in Canton, Ohio, skateboarding in the street is illegal. That's, you know, that's common. Number five, Miami Beach, Florida, skateboarding is not allowed at any police station. Okay, I figured it wasn't allowed in anywhere in any police station, but way to clarify. Number six, no skating in any city street at any time. So also, it makes sense. I think that's technically illegal in most places, but people don't crack down as hard as you might think. Number seven in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, uh, no skateboarding on sidewalk within a business district. Number eight, Florida, it is illegal to skateboard without a license. Wait, did I read that right? It is illegal. It's just illegal to skateboard. Some of the best skateboarders on earth come from Florida. That's so funny. And then number nine in Tennessee, no person may skate and listen to a radio at the same time. Any tips on how to approach life after schooling? That's a question from one of you and yes. So I'm editing this. Uh, the mood kind of changes like really quickly. Um, I basically just tried to say something that I thought would be really helpful, but I ended up putting like ambient music and it's kind of like inspo feeling. Um, so hopefully this buffers the transition and uh, now you know what to expect. So it doesn't just slap you in both of your eyeballs. So if I'm gonna be honest, I felt like most of school was kind of a waste of time. Uh, I was kind of forced to learn quickly what was important in life. I saw how confused the local college kids were and I knew the answer was beyond my hometown. It's about taking risks and putting yourself in situations to learn. It's also about finding practical market solutions to things you find interesting. 
If you have hobbies, then great. Look up ways to make money doing those things on YouTube. If not, go on YouTube and search weird jobs. Unfortunately, school creates this mental barrier between self and job. They tell you what to do to get good grades, but real life requires testing out the waters at a chance of achieving nothing. But every failed attempt is a valuable lesson. I mean, again, almost every time you can go on YouTube and find people who have the job you want or have made money doing the things you like and listen to their stories and see if you can do what they did. And guess what? Good news is nothing is permanent. You do school for 12 years, sometimes, you know, 16 or 20 or even more, and it makes you feel the weight of a career, but you don't need to have a career for even more than six months. I try to make money doing something new every year or so while maintaining some jobs that pay consistently like YouTube and skateboarding. But next, I want to try logo design or writing a book because again, nothing is permanent. I've included some links down below. YouTube is your friend and lots of people have really interesting and fun jobs. So start now and try some jobs that seem interesting. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.